This is going to be a short overview of the seven trumpets in the Holy Scripture, the Bible, that sound in God's warnings. Now, it's a general overview video, it's a very short summary. I won't be quoting the actual verses to you, but the, um, the Scripture um, verses um, will be on the screen. Now, um, what we're going to do is just run through each one of these trumpets, and then you can go and look up the verses and do your own research. Uh, because if I put all that into this video, um, we'll end up with a very long video indeed. Um, below are links to the book, Seven Trumpets, Sounding God's Warning, a general overview, and a link to the um, video that's um, talking about trumpet number two. So, we're going to start with trumpet number one. Trumpet number one, Revelation 8.7. Uh, in this trumpet, one third of the trees are going to be destroyed and all the green grass burnt. That also means that um, a lot of the crops are going to be burnt of, of, as well. So if you're thinking food shortages now, when this happens, food shortages are going to be much worse. Now, the cause of that, um, there's a video by Neil McCoy, McCoy, uh, Neil McCoy Ward, I think, um, talks about and he shows that the bankers have said at the last Davos meeting and the one before, that methane gas is very important to them. Well, why is methane gas very important? Well, because it's leaking. A lot of it is leaking from the oil fields and oil processing plants. Um, so when you look at one third of the trees will be destroyed and all the green grass burnt up, there you have methane gas being released, which can then, you know, um, be a, a particular type of spark, I suppose, um, or sparks going around the whole earth or lightning coming up from underground like it does at the moment and has done for decades um, via their machines and you can go to Padre Graham's channel and see these machines where they have been photographed and uh, a review on uh, Nana Glen, New South Wales where the dust, the dirt was actually turned into a refractory type of dust, very light, very soft after the, um, the fire had gone through. Phosphorus uh, signature from the burning of the ground and the tree roots and that's why in a lot of the wildfires you see that wood that that's connected to metal burns but wood that's not connected to metal doesn't burn but the roots from under the um, trees the trees burn from the inside out um, or in suburbs you get the uh, houses burning but not the trees so that's been going on for many years many years um, in South Australia uh, since 79 83 when video was um, first released so um, trumpet number two so trumpet number one is methane gas and the bankers have it that they're going to burn the old earth in you know a split second of a time because I, I doubt if it take very long to do but it might take a week might take a day not quite sure um, Anyway, when trumpet number one happens, then you will absolutely know that soon after, trumpet number two is going to happen. Now, soon after might be a year or two, might be less, um, might be very close to it in a number of days, not sure. But the, no, trumpet number two, Revelation 8.8 to 9, says that, one, says that this, this mountain will be thrown into the sea. Uh, NASA has said that in, in January 31, notice that's... 2031 right after their saying of everything has to be done by 2030 so the month after the international space station is going to be dumped into the sea and one third of the ships will be destroyed now the international space station is 500 tons so it's not going to cause much of a splash so what if you've noticed or go and notice that they are priming up the volcanoes getting the re getting ready to destroy the ring of fire and by blowing up the underwater volcanoes um, then you get all this water movement with the water movement ships are destroyed the Chinese ships the uh, ships of North Korea Taiwan who the other nations Vietnam all their ships or most of their ships will be naval ships will be destroyed along with the tankers and the container vessels um, now the blowing up of the volcanoes etc and all, all the oil turned um, on top of the water will suck the, the water out of the, the oxygen out of the water and one third of the fish or things that have life in in the um like the mammals in the sea will be killed off so when that happens and then um you know you're going to want to be if you can live in the country or live in the seaside around the ring of fire you are not going to want to be at the height 
of the sea or just a couple, 100 feet above the sea level you're going to want to be high like as in about a thousand or eleven hundred meters um, above the the, uh, the water especially in spa spaces like um, New Zealand Chile um, Hawaii um, China and other countries you're going to be want, want to be very high indeed um, so that uh, you don't get washed away and, and killed by all the underwater and above ground volcanoes being exploded to create water movement to destroy the tankers and the kings of the east naval now false so after that's happened sometime after that we're going to move on to trumpet number three see a lot of people at the moment complaining about russia and, and all this sort of stuff well russia doesn't come into the picture really in the bible until chapter uh, trumpet number seven but they're all worried about you know this, this next thing that's close which was fair enough okay it's close but the bible talks about events that are going to be absolutely apocalyptic and um so jesus said you know uh, jesus said you know there'll be wars and war rumors of wars you know but the do not worry for the end is not yet so you know until these trumpets start going off we're not even um at the end of the end type of thing um so trumpet number three revelation 8 10 to 11 um in the time of the wormwood star which uh ary underscore 55 video channel uh, is covering in very good photography uh, we're going to be poisoning the waters so in the time of the worm would start which that word star means covering we see all this white stuff and and the weather control and um and people say that the star is the second sun which they can quite often see clearly now um, and the bible says many people will die because the waters became bitter or poisoned so we have been poisoning the waters for decades. Uh, the Wormwood Star is getting closer and closer, um, and the sun sim simulator, the sun simulator, is not covering up the um, the Wormwood Star as well as what it used to. So that will happen. And then we move on to trumpet number four. Now, trumpet number four: a third of the day, night, and stars will not shine. So, so much for solar panels. Everyone and the governments are saying go to solar, go to solar. Well, guess what? Your solar is not going to work because you only get 20% productivity out of a brand new solar panel. In a few weeks, that drops to 18%. And if you take a third, at least a third out of that, then you only get about 12% production. Uh, you're going to need some uh, a huge array of panels to be able to, to collect what um, light is going to be coming through. Now, how are they going to do this? They're going to be spraying carbon, dark black carbon, into the air. And, of course, they're going to have sun reflectors reflecting light onto the solar farms and you have to pay a fortune for that type of power so there are many ways that they're, they're going to action trumpet number four and uh, anyway trumpet number five trumpet number five now this is where things really start to get a bit strange um, now trumpet number five is talking about um, CERN and the 2.3 uh, commit kilometer tower that they're currently building to make it into a 3d type of um arrangement with a um with a machine called a tokamak which is basically just a big looking donut that is um magnetic and and um can trap a, a, a body from another dimension so what they're doing is they're making a path for apollyon or in hebrew his name is a will uh will be let out of the bottomless pit the electrical pit prison and with him the part horse human scorpion lion race which will sting all those that are not with the lord god not on god's side have do not have the mark of god on their forehead so it's a spiritual mark so you see here that um apollyon or badon's going to come they're going to suck him out of the sky or out of the next dimension and he's going to blow up that um tokamak and there's going to be lots of smoke in the air lots and so that will darken the sun so there goes your solar solar array again you have to think differently um and then these these part horses human scorpion lion race called the bible calls them locusts will come along and sting all those uh, do not not have the mark of god in their forehead which means they're not from god which is why they are creating the space command and the space force around the world lots of countries that now have these space forces because they are going to fight them because they know that they're going to come and sting them and they don't want that so they're using our tax dollars to uh, prepare to fight 
these this other race which they have used our tax dollars to create CERN to then make a pathway to the next dimension so yet they blame it all on us so there we are that's trumpet number five and that's also row number one and um but the three rows i'm not really covering today so we're going to move on to tr trumpet number six now trumpet number six is armageddon as a sequel 38 and um part of revelation 9 13 to 21 and you see that you know gog and magog are going to come down to the land of israel and the kings of the east are going to come across the land up the euphrates river into israel and have a big war there at medigo which means armageddon there have been wars there before wars they're used in with electromagnetic uh, craft in judges chapter 5 you can read that so they were there in the old testament and what and Sol king solomon said there was nothing new under the sun what has been shall be again and we have those craft today as i mentioned earlier so trumpet number six is related also to trumpet number two in that when they destroy all the ships fire blowing up the underwater volcanoes uh, Ch the chinese and the kings of the east naval force will be on land or destroyed and will not they will not be able to take the ships around to uh, Israel into the Mediterranean or, or the other seas around the area so they will have to attack by land and air um, and the reason they will want to do that is because they want you know the Chinese um, to be the number one world currency the reserve currency but of course Gog and Magog being NATO and USA do not want that and uh, will not allow it um, because you know they have so many um, electromagnetic weapons that uh, you can't even see that go past you over the top of your head and you wouldn't even know them that they're there or been there um, and I have many videos that I've, I've filmed of them too many to put on YouTube uh, because it takes a lot of time now so that's trumpet number six you got Armageddon notice we haven't got to the end yet the end is in trumpet number uh, seven so you know trumpet number six um, it is a very very big trumpet and of course at this time you've got um row number two which is the mark of the beast time as well so this is going to be a very interesting type of thing and you've got the two witnesses coming back at this time which is i think that's row number two and uh, row number three is mark of the beast so around this time you got some really interesting things going to happen um but of course armageddon's going to happen um but it's not the end so then after this has happened the end is going to happen now trumpet seven trumpet seven is in two parts after gog and magog nato and eu etc uk usa after they've put china tacked down at armageddon they're going to have an evil fault ezekiel 39 says and they will conspire to destroy and take over russia now actually in june 2022 you can see that they're doing that they're conspiring um, to take over eventually take over russia but they've got to weaken russia and at the moment russia's just putting forward its 1980 tanks and so forth and getting rid of some dead wood that they don't need type of thing um it's out of date and so they're not really worried and of course russia they said they were going to destroy the ruble well russia's at the seven ruble is now at the uh, seven year high so and them demanding payments for their goods in in rubles so um you know they're a very strong country and they can't take them on until they take on china and which is in trumpet number six and they have to get rid of china china's force first otherwise china will just back russia and it'll be too much for um gog and magog or usa and england and nato and eu to take on so they get rid of china they attack china they get they suck china in in trumpet number two they destroy the china's naval force in trumpet number six they take on china in the air and their tanks and so forth and get rid of you know a couple hundred million soldiers alone at that time about one third of mankind will be destroyed in trumpet number six the bible says so then in trump trumpet number seven they're going to conspire to take over russia because now that's the only country that's left and that's when god says when they come to that decision is that's the time when the bible says that god will, will roar out of zion he will roar out of his holy temple um, and his fury will come upon his face and uh, to destroy life at that time by fire now why does it have to be by fire now he could just say a word and, and everyone dropped dead well he doesn't want to kill everybody and that's not part of his plan and his plan was that everybody should live but unfortunately uh, the mankind wants to um, still do what eve said and and find out about knowledge and so forth and take on a new course and and reach eternity via a different way and of course that then brings us back to revelation 6 and the covid war links to that book 
uh, below as well and they in, have injected a lot of the population with nanotechnology nanites um, for anyone who's watched Star Trek Enterprise um, and um, Star Trek um, what's the other one Voyager would know a lot about these types of things and for for those that haven't studied nanotechnology I'm talking about to, to, to you people but, um, so those that are in computers and nanotechnology, which is a very few people, um, and in the med medical field um, where they have nanotechnology fixing things and monitoring things, they have think nanotechnology now can track your medications, whether you take them, whether you don't, whether you, they take too many, you know, um, it's all trackable now. Um, and 5G comes into that, of course, as well. So at this time, when they think, well, now we've got rid of China, uh, we're in Armageddon, we're going to go up and take ru over Russia, and God's fury was going to come upon his face and say, well, that's, that's enough. And um, so he has to burn up all this nanotechnology. All these micro satellites that um, have, use anti-gravity device, devices and the balloon satellites, they're all under the firmament. They can't go through the firmament unless they're using some pretty good um, technology. Uh, even the sun and the moon are, are under the firmament. They're not millions and billions of years away. Uh, even the stars are only four and a half out four and a half thousand kilometers away and there's a there's a youtube channel that triangulates the sun and the moon and the stars and fire his triang triangulation calculations has proven that and he used to work for um, a defense uh, um, military um, civil um, operations and uh, used to fire the rockets and you know according to the flight plan the rockets went around um, hawaii from where they threw, fired them in the USA, but in actual fact they went straight over Hawaii because that's a direct straight line on a flat Earth surface. So if you're around Earth surface or a football type of Earth surface, sorry, it didn't want to upset you there, but um, that's the way it is. It's they would fire them straight over Hawaii, and he and he proves that, and he proves the distance of the sun and the stars from the ground, and and so God is going to come out of the temple, and he is going to destroy. Whoever needs to be destroyed, destroyed, and whatever needs to be destroyed by fire, and that means fire like we've never seen before. Just think of all those batteries going on fire, um, <laughs> and we've only got a few batteries at the moment compared to what we're going to have. So you know, and that's just fire by battery, let alone fire by all the other means. Now, some people are going to survive this, and um, after God's destroyed what He needs to destroy it and put the enemies under His footstool, and Jesus returns. Um, then those that are still alive in the flesh are obviously going to continue living and and things will and Jesus will rule and reign for a thousand years so these are the seven trumpets and these are the what's going to happen in a very short overview so we'd like to thank you for watching this summary um, thank you very much and goodbye till next time